everyone so today I have the next video in my kids in kids kids movie inspired look series I couldn't figure out a better way to say that but basically I have started a series on my channel this will be the third one that is all looks inspired by different kids movies Disney Pixar whatever just kids movies so I will list the playlist to the other ones down below but today I have a look inspired by the princess and the frog which in my opinion is one of the most underrated kids movies to come out recently like everybody freaked out over Tangled and y'all know I love Tangled and like people freaked out over Frozen which I I haven't even seen Frozen because I worked at Hot Topic when Frozen was like huge so I just I, it was just sensory overload with Frozen everywhere, so anyways. The movies that come out recently, especially in the Disney, like, kids movie realm, I feel like The Princess and the Frog is one that nobody talks about, and it's one of my favorite children's movies. If you haven't seen it, go see it right now. It's so good. I just love the just values of hard work um, and, like, the strong female character in it. So today I have a look inspired by that movie. Now, I took different aspects of it. It's kind of, I feel like this isn't like, this doesn't scream the princess and the frog, but that's the point of these whole series is I wanted to take a different approach than just doing the colors of the princess's dress on my eyes. You know what I mean? So today, like I've said in my previous videos, I kind of take inspiration from different scenes or just like different songs. So today I have the eyes inspired by the song Almost, Almost There and just the whole, like, it goes into this kind of cartoony, like, scheme and when she's singing almost there and almost there is my favorite song off of the whole movie it's just talking about how like she has to work hard to get her dreams to like make her dreams come true and I just love it I just think it's such an awesome like powerful song like go-getter song so I took the kind of color scheme of that song for the eyeshadow today which I love how the eyeshadow turned out and I mean if you take away the green this is an awesome like everyday gold smoky eye so did that and then of course I popped some green there because it is the princess and the frog after all and then I popped some purple to kind of tie in the like Mardi Gras color scheme and also like the shadow man and his sort of like black and purple color scheme so I just kind of got a mishmash of different inspirations on my face right now so yeah that's that's pretty much it so if y'all want to see how I got this princess and the frog inspired makeup tutorial then just keep watching all right everybody so we're going to start out by priming our eyes as we have done recently you know in my videos and I'm just going to prime it with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer set it down and we're gonna move on to eyeshadow so the first color I'm gonna take is Chickadee by Makeup Geek and I'm going to buff this really really high up in my crease and in my transition area I really want this yellowy gold to be really prominent in the look since the yellowy gold is so prominent in the almost there scene so I go back with this color quite a bit and then I'm going to take Early Bird, which is really similar to Chickadee, it's also by Makeup Geek, and I'm just going to place that basically on top and just kind of intensify it. Early Bird is, Early Bird is just a little bit darker and deeper than Chickadee. So I'm just going to buff that with a big old fat blending brush all over my transition area in my crease. And like I said, I go back in with this color quite a bit because I really want that yellowy gold color to come through. Then I'm going to take Poppy from Makeup Geek on a kind of loose blending brush. I don't know what the name of this one is, but it's just a little... A little blending brush and I'm going to pop that in circular motions around the outer corner of my eye and then blending that lower into the crease not going too crazy with this color but again we're just trying to create a gradient then I'm going back in with chickadee and blending that all together Then I'm going to take Criss Cross. This is a shadow by ColourPop. And I'm going to take that on this little furless angled brush. It's one of my favorite brushes ever. And I'm just going to pop that in the outer corner and again into the crease, but even lower than what we put Poppy. So I'm just kind of stamping it in my outer corner and then just blending it around slightly into the crease as well. And I do also kind of take this kind of onto my lid, like halfway across my lid, as you can see that I'm doing here, just to kind of act as kind of a base for when we put our glittery gold color on top. 
Then this color is called Top Notch and it's also from ColourPop. And I'm gonna take this on this little Morphe M507, tiny little detail brush, and I'm just going to place this in the very, very outer corner and just softly blend it so that way it keeps the color exactly where we want it. Then I just needed a slightly darker brown, so I took Americano from Makeup Geek on the exact same brush and basically did the same thing. I just really wanted to really darken that outer corner and give it some more depth and dimension. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Then I'm going to take more of Criss Cross on that blending brush that we used for Poppy and I'm just going to go over the kind of edges and just slightly blend this in with the darker browns that we put just so everything blends super, super seamlessly. Then again, I'm gonna go back in with Chickadee and blend it out even more. Like I said, I go back in with this color a lot. Then I'm going to take Makeup Geek Foiled Shadow and Fortune Teller, and I think these apply best with your fingers, so that's exactly what I'm using to apply them. And I'm just going to pop this all over the lid. Well, not all over, I'm stopping about halfway into the lid so that we get that gradient to that kind of warm terracotta color that we put on our outer corner. So again, just pop this all over the lid. And then I just wanted to intensify it a little bit more, so I took a wet synthetic brush and just popped it, like popped more of it on my lid just to make it super opaque and really give it that wet foiled look. And I love, you could totally stop here. I love how this turned out. And now I'm going to take my Steely Style Stylus Liner, and I'm just going to do a relatively thin wing of eyeliner. This eyeliner doesn't have to be perfect by any means, especially once you get to the wing, because we are going to put glitter over it, but I just wanted to create this as a base. Then we're going to pop on and do our face real quick. I'm going to use my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in the shade 02, and I'm going to buff this all over my skin with my Real Techniques Miracle Complex sponge as always nothing new here I need to get some more foundations that are my tan color because I swear I only have like two anyways then we're going to take the Catrice full coverage camouflage concealer and this is in the shade 02 as well and I'm just going to highlight and brighten and conceal all over my face and then again blend that out with my real technique sponge this is also where you can kind of clean up that wing or clean up that shadow to make it really really sharp and precise then I'm going to set my under eyes with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. I'm going to use the banana and the vanilla shades mixed together. Then I'm going to set all over my face with my NYX Set It and Don't Thread It as a per normal. Then I just took that same angled brush with crisscross. it was just whatever was left on the brush, and I'm just going to pop that on my lower lash line, and more towards the like outer part of my lower lash line, and then I take a mixture of Chickadee and Early Bird on this little blendy, like blendy flat sort of brush, and I'm going to pop that more towards the inner part of my eye, and then blend it down. Then I'm going to wet a pencil brush and I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in Magic Act. I didn't show it, but it was the other foiled shadow that I had in that Z palette and it's just a really, really soft, like, highlighting gold color. So I just pop that right in the inner corner. You could do this with, like, Shima Shima or any other, like, any other highlighting color, but I kind of wanted to keep it more gold and just kind of add more of a gradient to the gold that we have on our lid. Then I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Pigment in Voodoo, so perfect for this look in this movie, and I'm going to take that wet on an angled brush, and I'm just going to kind of add the green wing right below the black one. So you can kind of see what I'm doing here. This is just going to act as a base for our glitter that we're going to put on in a second, but I'm just kind of extending the wing a little bit and thickening that outer wing so that we have a green wing. Then this is the eye candy glitter, I think it's called like apple teeny or something like that. I'll have the name of it for sure listed down below, but I'm going to take that with the eye candy liquid sugar adhesive and I'm just going to use that same angled brush and just stipple this glitter right on top of where we put the green to create a green outer wing. I love how this turned out. I've never done this technique before of like doing a glitter wing, but I loved it. Then I started with this palette, but I realized this bronzer is just a little bit too light, like 
even for me when I'm still fair, when I'm tan, um, it just wasn't really giving it to me. So I took my other e.l.f., just the regular bronzer palette on this Eco Tools fan brush, which I have been loving for bronzing and contouring lately. And I'm just going to bronze up my skin and just go all the way around the perimeter of my face and contour. Y'all know the deal. Put the bronzer on your face. Then I'm gonna take this Steely Style blush in the shade Bellini. I love this color, it's a beautiful coral. And I'm just going to pop that on my cheeks pretty lightly. And then for highlighter, I haven't used this in so long, but it's one of my favorites. It's Midnight Sun from Makeup Geek. So beautiful, it's just like a gorgeous gold shimmery. Oh, it's so good. I love this highlighter so much. And then I'm just going to highlight my brow bone with Shimmer Shimmer real quick from Makeup Geek. And then I'm going to go fill in my eyebrows and I'm also going to pop on some lashes. These are the Aether Lashes in the style Rebel Rebel. I love these so much. So that's what they look like on. They're super fluttery and kind of spiky. I love them. And then last little bit, I'm going to apply the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cape Town. Beautiful kind of fuchsia purple color. I think it looks exactly like the Magic Man's, like the ball on top of his little staff. I thought it matched really well. And once that is done, this look is totally complete. I absolutely love how this turned out, and I hope you all did too. Please comment below and let me know what kids movie you would like to see me do a look inspired by. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all so freaking much, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!